What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I have been gone for quite some time. I went on vacation and I didn't film while I was on vacation, unfortunately. It was just a lot of things that were going on and I was just more so focused on spending time with my family than filming. So you see where my priorities are. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. This one is a Valentine's Day inspired. Yes, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I mean, who's not excited for one of the most love and romance holidays? It's not necessarily a real holiday in my book, but I love the colors. I love the whole idea of it being romantic, being in love. And that's exactly what I wanted to celebrate. So I hope that this tutorial is very easy for you guys. I did a soft cut crease look and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them in the comment box below. All the items that I have used will be in the description box below as well. Oh, I forgot, if you are not a subby, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also another thing, this here was installed by my best friend, Jerez Amadez. I will do a review on this hair. Um, probably in my next video so stay tuned for that one his information will be in the link below he is a simply amazing hairstylist and he is located in Hampton and Newport News Virginia so like I said his information will be in the description box below I hope you guys really enjoyed this one love you guys bye what's up y'all we got one eye done already time to go in with the art in the streets palette by wet n wild and we're going to take this orange shade and place this all over my inner crease area okay this top crease now since we're going to do this cut crease this is my first time doing a cut crease you guys so bear with me i went ahead and i just placed this the whole idea of it is to create a level change okay so the level change is from your crease to your lid so your crease is one lid and your lid is one lid wait <laughs> your crease portion is one part and the lid is the other part yeah y'all know what i'm trying to say god dog it so i go in with this clay color by coastal sense and i place this on that inner crease area as well so i wanted to create more of a sultry feel and that's what we gonna do today we're going to build up that color and we're going to build it all over that crease Crease, 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 crease. I don't care if I say crease five more times. Crease, 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 crease. And then we're gonna blend it all together. And we're blending this with a clean blending brush, okay? Do not do it with a raggedy looking brush. I go in and I place a generous amount in the back of my hand of this Milk Pencil by NYX and replace this to create that other level to create that barrier between two levels. And that is from on that lid portion. So we're gonna place this all over the lid because we want this next gold shade color that we're getting ready to put up here to pop. We're gonna be putting two different types of gold on this line, but I wanted to make sure that they stand out very, very, very much so. So I wanted to create a great base for it, okay? So that's the whole idea and to carve out that crease. So I go in with St. Topaz by Coastal Sense. Y'all, Coastal Sense is my bread and butter. Coastal Sense be having some banging eyeshadows for a cheap price. Like they're so inexpensive. Who doesn't want to pay a dollar? And they constantly having sales. Get your freaking life. So I place this on that outer, that outer lid area. And then I go in with Glamazon by Carrie B Cosmetics, which is just a lighter gold shade because we wanted to create an ombre effect. We wanted to flow like the maximum um who Midas touch flow. That's what we going for. We want to have the Midas touch flow, okay? Who doesn't want that gold in that Valentine's Day morning? And so then I go in also with this duo eyeshadow palette by l'oreal i cannot remember the name of this color because it has faded out but my best friend had gotten it for me years ago i doubt if it's still in the stores but i placed this on that line that barrier line just to create a halo between the two the, a beautiful barrier actually between the two colors and the two levels I then go in to create another level which is going to be my liner. I go in with the gel liner by e.l.f. e.l.f. this gel liner I was trying to hold on to it for as long as I can but I think it's time to throw the flag on this one. Like this thing gotta go. But I tried to get as much as I could out of this. But I did go in with a liquid liner by Revlon just to define it a little bit more. It just was not giving me what I needed. 
So we just place her right on top. I did do the same thing on the other eye, just to let you guys know. Everything I did to this eye, I did on the other. So I just wanted to also want that glossy look of a liner as well. I did go in and clean it up off camera, but I also go went in with this e.l.f. Um, highlighter called Glow, High Glow or something like that. But of course, you know, it will be in the description box below, but I didn't go in and blend everything together. And I did apply lashes off camera. I tried to do it on camera. Once again, it just did not happen the way that I wanted. Like, what is up with that? That is so in the way. But I go in and I start doing some color correcting. I prime my face with the Makeup Forever HD Primer in the color Fua Illuminator. And I just go in with the Warm Honey Color by Wet n Wild Concealer. And I just use put this on all the places I needed to color correct. My face is starting to lighten up a little bit more. So I had to transition from that fawn to this Warm Honey because it just matched my skin tone. I have a yellow undertone and I needed to go in and use that to do some color correcting i then go in with my highlight shade and my favorite all time i went and they were finally in stock my maybelline fit me concealer by um in the number 25 medium and we place this all over the places that i wanted to highlight so that's going to be all over my forehead my under my eyes my chin and the tip of my lips okay so i use that same damp beauty blender sponge and i blend all of that in now since we are now going for a full beat i wanted to make sure that highlight is going to be just enough for me to be able to get by because we're going to tone this down when we start doing some contouring okay and i just go ahead and i set this color by with my ben nye banana powder and i put this all over the places that i conceal because my camera definitely started acting crazy so it stopped on me so just to let you guys know i put that banana powder all over the places where i place that concealer then i go in with this mac studio fix plus foundation in the color nc43 and i place this all over my face course because it's my foundation i go in with my ruby kisses 3d foundation contour palette dang can you get open good gracious i use that gray color as well as that dark brown color just a little bit and we're going to chisel these freaking cheeks you want to make them cheeks pop since we're going for this full beat we need to make sure that these cheeks and this forehead and this jawline is popping baby bring that darker portion back to my face i then go in with my max studio fix Play spray and i just went ahead and spray and set this face because we were spilling a little powdery and i do not like that powdery feel so we then go in with my um what you call this the art in the streets for um palette by wet and wild and we're just going to, the same thing that we did on that upper crease area, we're going to do right in the, underneath this waterline area. So we put this orange color first, and then we go in with that clay color by Coastal Scents. And we place that directly underneath that orange color, okay? Because like I said, we're going to do the same effect that we did on that upper crease. We're going to do right here underneath this waterline area. I then go in with Glamzon by Carity D Cosmetics, and I place this right underneath that waterline area. I wanted to create that gold liner effect i didn't place it directly on that waterline because we didn't go in with the wet and wild liner black coal liner later after to do that but i then go in with my mineralized skin finish in the deep dark to place this all on the contour area i have to contour these areas because this color is so freaking gorge like you have to get your hands on this i then blend everything in with my blending brush by elf it's a flat top kabuki brush and i blend everything together my highlight with my contour with everything i mean everything 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 I then go in with my favorite blush, and it's called Pearly Paprika by Fashion Fair. And you guys, this color on top just gives your skin a beautiful orangey glow, okay? I then go in and define my contour a little bit more with this Ben Nye Banana Powder, and we're going to create the man mustache. This is my granddaddy Sean Connery mustache. I go in with my Precious Petals Mega Glow Highlight. You guys, if you check my Instagram or my Snapchat the other day or recently, y'all understand that that glow which was freaking everything i am in so much in love with these i forgot
forgot about I forgot about them I was using a different highlight but these highlights you guys for a very inexpensive price you get so much glowage the glow game is so freaking real I go in with my L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara and I place this at the top lash and of course on my bottom lash these left and also with the instant thanks mascara these two mascaras together in co combination is life like you have to get your hands on both of these i wanted to create that same flare as my lashes my top lashes i wanted to give that same effect for my bottom lashes and with these two mascaras together they give you just that i go in with this stippling brush that i got from claire's a long time ago and i just blend everything together my highlight in with my blush my blush my blush in with my contour my contour in with my foundation and that's pretty much it for my face now time for these lips i go in with this wine color by wet and wild and this is their lip pencil i am obsessed with this color i wanted this color to be my background because it is such a beautiful beautiful orangey reddish orangey not orangey um rosy winery feel and i then go in with this orange color called i think this is called brown honey by um ruby kisses macadamia collection i that may not even be the name of it lord a sister can't even get that together i go back in and define those lips a little bit more time to set this face with my rose water as well as my fix plus spray and we're going to set everything do you see that glow already like check the side of that face oh she's so beautiful and that's pretty much it. So that's everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was very easy for you guys to accomplish. Of course, thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye-bye.